Hello and welcome to Thought for December the 14th. Our readings are Job chapter 16 and 17, Habakkuk chapter 3, and 2 Peter chapter 1 and 2. And our thought is, if these qualities are yours. Ah, that little word if. Our quotation is from 2 Peter chapter 1. Today we read Peter's final message as he realises he is soon to die. It is a time when he sees much evil growing and false believers coming to the fore who promise them freedom, but they themselves are slaves of corruption. For whatever overcomes a person, to that he is enslaved. For if, after they have escaped the defilements of the world through the knowledge of our Lord and Saviour, the Lord Jesus, they are again entangled in them and overcome, the last state has become worse for them than the first, we, he re- writes in chapter 2, verses 19 and 20. What is the false promise of freedom? A glaring example today is the slogan in some churches, once saved, always saved. The idea that after you are saved, then grace covers all your future sins regardless, well, that's a strange kind of freedom. Now, we must take special notice of Peter's powerful words early in his letter. He tells his readers that he and they have been granted all things that pertain to life, and having escaped the corruption that is in the world because of sinful desire, make every effort to supplant your faith with virtue, and virtue with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with steadfastness, and steadfastness with godliness, and godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love. For if these qualities are yours and are increasing, they keep you from being ineffective and unfruitful. Chapter 1, verses 3 to 8. It is helpful to look at other versions of Scripture to get the fullest meaning behind some of these qualities. Some Greek words cannot be effectively translated by one English word. For example, virtue has been rendered as integrity. Knowledge can be the act of knowing, in the sense of having a relationship as we will see in Job shortly in his relationship with the Creator. Finally, note verse 10. Therefore, brothers and sisters, be all the more diligent to make your calling and election sure. For if you practice these qualities, you will never fail. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up God's Word the Bible, knowing that that word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.